Close your eyes, relax, and allow yourself a few minutes away from the noise and the chaos. Breathe deeply, and let go of all tension and confusion. Breathing in love and peace. Breathing out fear and frustration. Give yourself time to simply let go and come into the divine space where you can put down all earthly burdens and concerns for a while. Connect with your heart. Take all the time and space you need to heal. Relax and let go. Feel yourself drifting into a place of peace and surrender. Knowing and accepting that it's okay to take some time and space for yourself. Time and space to heal and to feel more deeply. Leaving all the anxieties and stresses far, far behind you. Softening into the chair or bed you're sitting on. and allowing each muscle in your body to gently relax. Breathe deeply and call your energy and attention into your heart. As you prepare to accept new ideas and commit to a divine, healing, unifying mission in this time and space. If you are aware of emotional freedom technique, you can either tap on the relevant points while you listen to these words and accept them as your own, or you can simply Sit or lie down quietly, allowing these decrees to penetrate your being and transform your consciousness without effort. Prosecutors say Officer Derek Chauvin had his knee on George Floyd's neck for eight minutes and 46 seconds, including two minutes. Even though I am deeply shocked, wounded and saddened 
by the brutality and racial injustice I have recently witnessed. I open my heart to love and I allow myself to see the opportunity for a deep healing on a personal, interpersonal and global collective level. I open up to the possibility of a deep personal transformation and a transformation of the human psyche at the level of the collective consciousness and the collective unconscious. Even though I am confused and bewildered about all the anger, aggression and racial inequality in the world today. I know that it is now rising up to the surface to be healed and released from the planet. I trust this knowing and I deeply and completely love and accept myself. Within this painful, collective moment, I see the possibility for open-hearted, loving, healing dialogues and radical actions that bring true and lasting change. Even though I don't always know the right words to say and may sometimes get it wrong, I am open to speaking up, asking questions and to a generous, loving dialogue in all its painful complexity. And I deeply and completely love and accept myself. Wherever I have shown ignorance, arrogance or denial in the face of obvious or invisible racism, I ask for your forgiveness. I forgive myself and I deeply and completely love and accept myself. Every time I have denied ignored or invalidated the feelings of my black brothers and sisters because I was afraid, uncertain, uncaring, confused or in denial. I now allow myself to see the unseeable, to know the unthinkable and to hold space for a greater healing. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. Anywhere I may have denied your suffering because it felt uncomfortable, seemed unimportant, or simply ask too much of me. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. For any violent wrongdoing committed by me or my ancestors, against yours or any other race. I am deeply sorry. I ask for your forgiveness. I ask for God's forgiveness. 
and I release it from all humanity. Anywhere I have dishonoured my ancestors by accepting racism or encouraging others to be quiet, pleasing, non-threatening or complicit with these crimes of injustice in any way, I ask for their forgiveness and I release it and let it go. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. Dearest ancient fathers and mothers, grandfathers and grandmothers, and all great, great souls connected to my lineage through blood, through spirit, or through love. I give thanks for your beauty and resilience and for the courage, wisdom, strength, creativity and enduring love you have always shown in the face of great adversity. Thank you for your infinite inventiveness and your divine intelligence. Thank you for the incalculable contribution of wealth, wisdom, scientific discovery, architecture, medicine, education, language, engineering, healing, spiritual teaching, warmth and honesty you have brought to this planet. Thank you for the music and culture that has healed and inspired so many. You are the ancestors of every living being on this earth and I thank you for never abandoning us, even those who have long since turned away from you. Thank you for watching over this healing and blessing it with your eternal spirit of growth and compassion. For every wounded inner child or soul fragment that was ever lost, abandoned, betrayed, disregarded, cast out, cast down, demeaned, insulted or hurt in any way by deliberate or unconscious racism, I am deeply sorry and I now return them all to wholeness. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Every time I have minimized and invalidated your pain by insisting that I do not see color, that God does not see color, that we are all one, that we are all the same, or that we are all just spirit beings having a human experience, because I felt afraid, or because it was inconvenient for me to stop and acknowledge your pain with love and generosity of spirit. Everywhere I have been focusing on the light and refusing to heal this darkness within society, within myself or within others, I ask for your forgiveness and I deeply and completely love and accept myself. Anywhere I hid among the angels and unicorns, refusing to see you because it was all just too big and too painful for me to handle, I ask your forgiveness and I release it all and let it go. 
because I now know that having my head in the clouds is just as wounding to you as burying it in the sand. I now stand side by side with you offering my hands and my heart to assist in healing these wounds which we will now all bear and heal as one united human race in preparation for the new earth knowing that we must all walk through these walls together and not continue to skate around them. I want you to live in a world where you can be happy, breathe freely and live without thinking about how you will be received or how you might be perceived. Please forgive me if I have ever made you feel small by asking you to bury your pain so that I might feel better in the moment. If I have ever asked you to smother your feelings in any way and for any reason, I open my heart and my eyes to truly see you now. I ask your forgiveness for refusing to see you before and for not taking the time to see that you were struggling. Even though we are all one, and in spirit there is no separation between us. I honour you for the journey you have walked in this lifetime to bring healing, enlightenment and equality to all humanity. To highlight these issues with your being, your courage, your wisdom, your dignity, your kindness, your education, your strength, your literature, your insistence, and yes, sometimes even your rage. Forgive me for all the times I saw your righteous anger as a character flaw, rather than the cry for help that I now know it to be. I love you completely. I am so, so sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. If I myself have dishonored, disowned, denied, abused, punished, tortured, or committed acts of aggression against any other being in any other lifetimes, because of the color of their skin, I am truly sorry. And I now release this energy and this possibility from within myself and from within the collective. Everywhere I have been enslaved by any person, place, system or cultural ideology and anywhere I have captured and enslaved any other person in this or in any other lifetime, I ask for forgiveness. And I decree and declare our respective sovereignty and freedom now. I ask for forgiveness for the violent actions of all my ancestors across all time and space. I ask for a cleansing of all anger, hatred and racism in all timelines, dimensions, star systems, galaxies, spaces, places and parallel places of experience. I release all compliance 
either conscious or unconscious, with any hidden agendas which are not in alignment with the highest divine plan for my life and the lives of my sovereign brothers and sisters of all races upon Mother Earth. With my sovereign right and human free will dispensation, under all divine cosmic laws of grace, I decree and declare that this is a spiritual state of emergency and I wholeheartedly reject and expel all lower agendas now. I banish and dismiss them unequivocally. I dissolve all invisible dark programming from within me and my loved ones and I invoke Christ consciousness to fill up the spaces they leave behind within every living being and within Mother Earth herself. I release from myself and from the collective all mental, emotional, spiritual and physical wounding and all unholy divisions caused by racism all entities who feed on the violent energy of racial violence of any description, all cellular inscriptions, pain and unhealed patterns, all psychological and emotional damage and trauma caused by racial abuse, gossip, slander and assumptions and slights, slurs and diminishments, bullying and gaslighting, thievery, imperialism, colonialism, condescension and the many deceptions enabling false patronage and the attitudes of patronization, insults, misjudgments, undervaluing, devaluing, underestimation, dehumanization, pity, denial, discrimination and ingrained implicit and insidious or obvious intentional systemic and institutional racism. I denounce all small thinking about you now, knowing that small thinking about you is also small thinking about myself and is holding up the process of our collective human evolution. And even though I don't know how to heal it all, I know that I am not alone, that there are millions, possibly billions of other souls who are now healing this with me, and I deeply and completely love and accept myself. My heart is open and I am willing to learn. Even though it feels too big for me to handle, I am willing to look at it. And I deeply and completely love and accept myself and all other beings. I am ready to see you. I am longing to see you. And I am willing to do better. And I deeply and completely love and accept myself. Anywhere I have said or implied that it is unspiritual or unevolved to pay attention to this sickness within human society, I ask for your forgiveness and I ask for these disregarding attitudes to be transformed within the light of grace. With the infinite light of my sovereign being, I ask for a unifying release across all time and space of the energy and vibrational signature of all acts of violence against any other beings because of their race or the color of their skin. And everything that keeps us from knowing that we are love, let it be burned up in the violet flame. Let it be removed from the inhabitants of the earth, now and for all time.
For every time I may have abandoned my black brothers and sisters out of a need to be acceptable, pleasing, non-threatening, helpful, hopeful, or protective of my own safety, I ask for a personal, interpersonal, divine and collective release, a permanent forgiveness of all self-aggressions, microaggressions, ignorance and betrayals, and I deeply and completely love and accept myself. For every time I colluded, complied and denied you with my silence, I am deeply, deeply sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. I am a sovereign being. I and all other beings are one. We are united in this cause. All beings of all races are united in love for the completion of this ascension process. I see it and it is done. Even though I may have been tricked in this moment and my compassion temporarily hijacked for the purpose of causing divisions and distraction, I am making a stand for a complete and total healing of these fractures and schisms, knowing that there is no place for them in this rapidly evolving world. There is no divisive strategy, no underground agenda or trickery that can prevent this mighty force of healing and love from elevating the consciousness of the inhabitants of the earth. With my sovereign will, I decree and declare it so. With my sovereign will and all my heart, I call to unite all star brothers, sisters, protectors and guardians of the earth to join us in this healing purpose and to decree that it is so, that what was done in the dark shall come to light, that what was meant for our demise shall become our greatest blessing. I call upon all beings, seen or unseen, who work for the highest good of planet earth and who wait for our requests, petitions, and permissions. I call upon the angels of love, peace, and light who oversee this process now to guide us into the golden age and to restore freedom, peace, and balance to all gatherings and initiatives generated by this act of violence so that this collective wave of grief and compassion shall be redirected into goodness towards the fulfillment of God's will at this time and for all time. Transforming all pain into unexpected love and lightness, becoming the vessel through which the higher purpose of the divine plan for collective global ascension will be done for the highest good of all. I renounce once and for all these divisions and schisms, these fragments and remnants and all that keeps us in human bondage and prevents unity, angelic consciousness, divine union, personal responsibility, global evolution and self-awareness. And I deeply and completely love and accept myself. To all my relations, for all the many human nations, peace now returns. I decree and declare it so. <laughs>